Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be talking about XLM, what's been happening with the price, what can we expect to happen next, and what are the latest news with regards to the coin, guys. If you don't wanna miss any of that important information, make sure you like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel. On a little side note, make sure you check us out at ptgr.ag if you're looking into greater consultancy packages with regard to cryptocurrencies. Guys, let's straight on and not waste any more time with regards to the video and jump straight into it. What's been happening with Stellar, guys? Stellar is up 0.56% in the last 24 hours, and Stellar has a lot of juicy news. So if you don't wanna miss any of that important stuff, make sure you watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss any of the important news, guys. But basically, Stellar, in my opinion, has insane momentum in the long term, and I'll explain why. My three coins, which I'm the most bullish on, are XLM, XRP, and XDC Network. Those are the three which I believe have insane momentum for the next bull run. And I know that we're in a current bear market, but listen me out guys, Stellar has everything in its favor to be the next big coin. And hear me out why, I mean Stellar has been hovering on its all time high. If we go back to around, um, sorry, if we go back, has been hovering around the 89 cents at its peak. And now it's hovering around, you know, the 0 0.12 cents but I can believe we can reach back these all time highs of 89 cents. I believe XLM is a dollar coin valuation and it can reach that in the long term. Now, XLM right now, the good thing is that it has a resistance hovering around the $10, uh, around the 10 cent points. And as you can see, it keeps testing it, uh, for example, on the 26, um, but it hasn't managed to gone below. So it's good. And since then, the bulls have taken the upper hand and we've had higher highs and lower lows, which has allowed us to reach um, uh, the 12 cents now. Um, on another note, I want to talk to you about what's been happening with regards to the news and let's crack on and not waste any more time. Now, the first one is MoneyGram, guys, and I've talked about this on this channel, but MoneyGram is a partner with XLM, and here's why the, the, the news is good, because MoneyGram USDC transfer services launches in several countries. That means there is more exposure, that means there is more utilization, and as we talked about, guys, MoneyGram is directly linked to XLM because they have a partnership. So this is an amazing news for XLM. Another one is that the USDC, guys, is running on Stellar. Now, a lot of people don't know that, but the USDC coin is running on Stellar, on XLM, and we've always said that XRP is for banks, but XLM is for the retail. Think of it that way, guys. XRP is for B2B, XLM is for B2C. So they don't compete with one another. People that say, you know, XRP has better advantage and is far more ahead of XLM, it's not the same thing, you know? It's like you're mixing eggs with potatoes. They're two total different things. XRP is for bank, XLM focuses on retail. And so the circle is the issuer of USD coin, which is the second largest stable coin, landed a 400 million in funding from a group that includes BlackRock and Fidelity Group. Now, why is this amazing, guys? The first thing, circle is part of XLM. Circle is part of XLM in the sense that they have a partnership going on, which means that anything that's, uh, uh, that is good news for Circle is indirectly a good news for, for XLM. The second thing is that Circle landed a deal with BlackRock and uh, Fidelity. Now BlackRock and Fidelity, what could that mean for XLM? Is that it's gonna bring a ton lot of institutional investors because these are huge firms, guys. BlackRock, just for an example, manage roughly six uh, trillion under asset management. It's more than JP Morgan, it's more than Goldman Sachs, it's more than Deutsche Bank, all put together. This is just to show you how much in terms of scale it is and how much of a good news this is for XLM. Fidelity, same thing, it's an asset management. Those are all big things because it shows that institutional investment is actually getting interested into, um, into XLM and into Circle, which is indirectly in partnership with XLM. Now, another news which is important and worth noting is BlackRock and Coinbase comes together to offer crypto to institutional investors. Again, guys, this is very big because it's gonna bring massive influx in terms of huge investment. 
are the, the, the daily trader from your high school who's trading Bitcoin for a hand of $100 or $1,000 is not what we are looking for as investors, right? We're looking for institutional investors that can bring stability to a project and that will help the coin to reach to that new high. And that is what we've been looking for. And BlackRock can just help move that towards, uh, to move towards that move faster and better because BlackRock has the access to all these resources. Like I told you, BlackRock has r roughly six trillion under asset management. So this just shows you the amount of money they have available to their hands that could bring traffic to XLM and other coins. Now, another news is that not all blockchain have the right consensus protocol to allow regulated financial institutions to operate on an open network. Look into the Stellar Security Partnership and it reveals some of how ready to go Stellar is with compliance already written in code. Now this is very important because it talks about how XLM is actually compliant with banks and how and how XLM is very ahead of its time compared to other cryptocurrencies that are very much still very gray in terms of the compliance. Now, XLM's compliance is very much open. It's ready. It's written in the code. So if you look interested, you can go have a look. But what's interesting is that Stellar is actually is the partnership reveal how ready to go and actually um, implementable the, uh, the technology is and that people have no clue of what's been happening. So this is an amazing news for XLM and this is again really really positive news for XLM. Something else that's important to know is this tweet that I found was interesting is this adapt or die. Now what is saying is the future in multi-chain and decentralized W the golden bridge to be interoperable don't get left behind. What it's saying is that basically XRP is basically for banks, XLM is for um, retail investors and what's important is that you have to understand the bridge which is this this uh, multi-chain and decentralized network that will operate all together and so that's why people that say you know xrp is the, is, is 10 10 times faster and, and 10 times ahead of xlm there are two different things and the importance is the bridge. So just remember this. Another good news is this. Normally I would agree with you, but they have no intention of correcting this fiat based system. They are intentionally destroying it. They want the great reset digital CBDC backed by World Bank running on RippleNet using XRP, XLM, XDC as bridge currency. Now this is again very good news. I mean, some people would say that this is terrible, but I believe this is good news because it shows that actually the World Bank is running on RippleNet, which is known as XRP, which is known to run with XRP, but also through XLM and XDC as bridges currencies. And the fact that it shows that it's using, um, instead of using fiat currencies, it's using digital currencies, uh, which are, um, very good news because it's showing the move towards institutional acceptance from these uh, fr from the government B because the fact that it's backed by digital CBDCs and by the World Bank it shows that um, the, the power it has of XRP and XLM reaching mass institutional acceptance. Another important news is this one. Now, XDC fork uh, from JP Morgan Quorum blockchain, XD3, uh, um, XDC R3 Corda platform settlement coin, and XDC partner circle. Now, XDC guys is partnering with circle. We also know that circle partners with XLM. Now, XDC has also landed a deal with JP Morgan. Now, this is for, for its core and blockchain, and this is all in turn, uh, interconnected in, with one another because Circle is related to XLM, but Circle also has a, um, a, a partnership with XDC. It's indirectly positive for XLM because JP Morgan has landed a deal with them. So this is again very positive sentiment. Uh, another one is that releasing with one chain or releasing bridges for XDC and LumenSwap releasing their, uh, their bridge for XLM at the same time, anyone else feels something bigger is on the horizon. Now this is something that could be very much true. I mean, this is based on speculation, but I believe that it's true that you are seeing XDC releasing its bridges as well as XLM 
and XRP. So what does that mean for the future? Are we expecting something bigger? So this we'll have to wait and see. So guys, if you don't wanna miss any of that important information, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And the, another news which I wanted to talk about is this one by Nicholas. It talks about how the Federal Reserve just raised the interest rate against and the ECB followed to and the National Bank in Denmark as well. I am looking forward to see the old monetary system collapse, then new millionaires will rise from the ashes of, um, of the Phoenix. And it talks about how XLM, XRP and Ripple are all these bridges that people have no clue that are in the shadow operating for banks and massive institutions uh, and, and if you're aware of this, if you follow the channel and you uh, have access to this information, make sure, guys, that you uh, read it and, and, and actually get interested into XLM because XLM, XRP, guys, and XDC Network have huge upside potential in the long term. And I believe that this comment by Nicholas is very much true. I believe that we are, uh, the, the, the problem is that countries um, don't realize that the old monetary system has collapsed, regardless if the interest rate has gone up and inflation is keep going up, regardless of how much interest rate are going up. So these techniques have worked in the past. They are no longer relevant for the, uh, the present time. Another news that I want to talk about is how XRP is a settlement of securities transaction. It's a multi-signature. XLM is a settlement of non-securities uh, transaction, which is a single signature. And then you have Algo, which is on-chain, which is programmable activity, XDC, which is bridge for off-chain activity. And then you have the IOTA, which is automated machine economy. It's important to remember because many don't understand the difference, but XRP is, for, uh, is the settlement of securities transaction and XLM is the non-securities transaction. Another thing that was also very important worth noting is that Ripple for payment, Stellar for stocks, XDC for trade finance, Circle and Ripple speaking on remittance for recovery at the uh, WEF tomorrow on Monday 5th uh, of the 23rd of the 5th. So this is huge, guys, because it's talking about how Circle and Ripple, which are indirectly correlated to XLM because of the partnership with Circle, like I've talked about, are talking about remittance for recovery at the World Economic Forum, which shows about how huge this is, guys, and how little it has gotten attention. If you hear, guys, at this, just remember XLM sitting at 12 cents. It's a huge bull side uh, 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 both side um, signal in terms of what it can reach in the future. So guys, this is huge because uh, the World Bank, uh, the World Economic Forum, sorry, is an institution that is very much there to help. And seeing that these in blockchains such as Ripple and Circle can actually help for rem remittance payment is actually great news because it's talking about utility. People always say, well, blockchain is useless, you know, uh, Bitcoin is useless, you can't even use it. This is actual utility cases where remittance is actually being used in real life. Now, guys, this is all for today. If you enjoy these news, guys, make sure your like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one see you next time bye